I first saw Duran, there were dirt roads with dust in the air and garbage everywhere. People uh, often living in landfills and living such a simple life. Before this organization helped us, we have too many uh, health problems. Before they have to walk um, around two miles or more. The nice scholarship which I received at Juniata College allowed me to realize my dream of studying abroad in Mexico. I couldn't take a whole year off, uh, but I could do a summer program, and the nice scholarship provided me the financial capability to realize that dream. Physicians for Humanity has really become a comprehensive exchange program where we don't just go and work shadowing other doctors or doing small medical tasks, but the students learn about the culture. With a couple cane poles, and now in just four months, so you can see now there's cane huts and probably several... They live with a family. They have to study Spanish at a university as part of the program so that they're not ignorant to the things going on around them. They really understand their global neighbor. One of the nice things about working with Physicians for Humanity is from day one you get to put your hands on a patient. Um, Nick believes in that very strongly as does osteopathic medicine. You can go and see surgeries, you can scrub in, they even let you do sutures. Um, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing, this organization and the people down here really try to allow you to expand as much as you can. It really was through the grace of God that I met this doctor who offered to run the clinic for me for a very small amount of money, just a couple hundred dollars a month to go three times a week and keep it going. Uh, the community here is very happy with the help for these American doctors because uh, it's a nice, it's nice thing that people from another country come here to make good, good job, and it's, it's some kind of example for our people, like doctors like me. We think better in what can we do for our people. He was so genuine. He offered the clinic to us as a, as a base for our work. So our volunteers could come there, they could work with him, they could experience the way these people live and participate with him in helping treat their day-to-day -day illnesses. situation yesterday, you know, we could have very easily system him up. Nick's been practicing medicine for a while. Um, I've been an EMT, so it's really no problem. I mean, sutures take 20 minutes maximum to... But then, of course, when you don't have any of the supplies, you have to take them to a hospital. And like we saw yesterday, there's not even a hospital in Duran. We had to go all the way to Guayaquil. These people have another vision for the world. There is people who uh, spend time in other countries, and I, I feel it's a very, very special people because maybe 
they have uh, spent the time in Hawaii or in another place, but no, he chose to come to a country like Ecuador and do good things. Having the, you know, the, the friendship with Pat and Nicholas and, and they've helped develop this clinic here and then they have one in Guatemala. I'm hoping that, you know, through my medical studies and through my service here with Physicians for Humanity, I can one day open a clinic in Peru. You know, I feel like I found my niche and definitely the people at Juniata, the, the support, everything has helped me to grow to this, this person that I didn't think I was capable of being, that I always wanted to be, but I just never felt like I could get there. It's really as much about the young people who make their trips and the changes in their lives and the new dedication they have to serving the poor and to helping with the fight against poverty. That's the drive that keeps me going to continue this work.